What if you don't see the miracle or the healing right away? That still does not change your prayer of faith. I need I need you guys to hear me, okay? This is going to be a training and a teaching lesson lesson for many of you all because people will ask me, you know, like, you know, um, why I see miracles and what do I do when I pray and what's my mindset and am I thinking, uh, what am I thinking? Do I feel, do I feel power? Do I feel, you know, something when I'm praying or a miracle happens? And the only thing that I do, sometimes I do feel, sometimes I don't. But what I feel is the Father's love. What I feel is that person that is in pain that needs relief and a touch from Jesus Christ. See, that's what I feel is compassion. What I feel is love and what I feel is that person is in need of a son or a daughter of God to manifest Christ in and upon that situation to move upon and to bring a miracle, a healing, a touch, a deliverance, a freedom, a sense of strength, and a, an answer to prayer, or to, or to pray with, and to believe God for what it is that's concerning their heart. So, my answer to that question is, I don't always feel something. I don't always, you know, feel a. A, a heat or a coolness or electricity or what I feel here's here's how God does it with me I feel the love and the warmth flowing from my heart through my vessel touching a child of God who needs God to move in and upon a situation or a thing. So, no, you're not always going to feel something and you're not always going to see it right away because there's been people that I prayed for that the miracle or the healing didn't come in the moment but came a few days later, a week later, a month later. There's been those that I prayed for that uh, that were told they couldn't have a baby, and that and that type of miracle, and that type of breakthrough, you can't see the manifest result of your prayer come to be until time plays out. But guess what? Down the road, as months as months went by, now here people are with children. All because people agreed with them, believed with them, stood with them, prayed for them, prophesied over them, and now have child. So you never know how, when, what, and it's not about, a lot of times for me, there's been many times when I've gone over to now watch this. Like I said, this is going to be kind of a, like a learning type of a lesson or, or just a word to encourage you. See, because there's many times I lay my hands upon somebody. I already know it's done and I know God is going to move. Why? See, because the more you do it, the more confident you become in it. The more you do it, the more strengthened and the more thick skin and the more um, because you're going to get rejected. There's going to be people that will not want to receive. There's going to be more people. How are you guys doing today? There's going to be many people that are not going to um, want prayer. There's going to be times where you're, <laughs> and you're going to feel it. You know, there's going to be some people that, you know, may scoff at you and, and might even curse at you. And you got to be okay with that. You got to press past that. And you have to understand that you're there to be there for those that will receive that God wants to touch and move upon. So there's been times when I laid my hands upon people in my mind. See, my spirit knows something is going to happen 
and I consider it done because all I'm doing is confirming what is already written, confirming the word of truth that by the stripes of Christ, they are already healed. I'm just coming into agreement with that word written to confirm God's word to manifest and to establish what it is he wants to do in and upon that person's life. But my mind in this moment, my mind in this moment will say, watch this. The thoughts in my mind as I'm laying hands upon that person, you know what the mind's saying to me? You, you look crazy. Ain't nothing going to happen. You're making God look like a fool. What are you going to do if nothing happens? You just wasted your time. You didn't have to stop for this person. You should have just left them alone. You should have just let them be because now you're going to look silly. Now you're going to look crazy. Now you're going to now you're going to make Jesus. You're going to make the gospel look sad. You're going to These are the thoughts that sometimes will, that will cross your mind that you have to suppress and understand your mind is not you. You are a spirit being born again and alive in Christ and the faith that you now live by in the flesh you live by the faith of the son of God and you now are confirming the word who is Jesus who went to the cross of Calvary who poured out his blood for you and me so that by the stripes and the wounds of the Christ that we put our faith and trust and reliance upon by those wounds we were and are healed so even though those thoughts come and even when you walk away and you didn't see don't let that change your faith and don't you dare get out there in unbelief and think for a minute well well i just made a fool out of myself i look stupid now I didn't see a miracle, nothing happened, you know, uh, they're still in pain, and, and, and here I am representing Jesus. Don't do that, because remember, you are in training, and you are growing, and you are learning. You take those thoughts captive, you stay in faith, and no matter whether you see it instantly or whether you don't, you still believe and stand upon the word because the word does not lie. And you continue to still believe. Don't doubt in your mind. You prayed the prayer of faith. You released and, and did what the word of God told you to do. Go ye therefore, lay hands upon the sick. You did what the word of God has told you to do. Now you let the spirit of Christ, of what only he can do, finish the rest. You rest in full assurance, trusting and believing and knowing that your prayer works because it does. Just don't get into doubt and don't think. Don't think. Remember, this is not about you. This is about Christ in you. And the Lord watches over his word. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.